Hello learners, I am Dr. Archana Adhikari, Assistant Professor of the Indira Mary School of Education, Krishna Kanto Handika State Open University. Today, we will discuss an important lesson or unit from your course 2 of MA Education. And the title of the unit is Growth and Development. So, in this discussion, we will discuss about the meaning of growth as the title itself is growth and development. So, we will discuss about the meaning of growth and development, relationship between growth and development and one another important aspect that is uh, always uh, is used in terms of this growth and development that is maturation. Then, we will introduce you with the various stages of human development and then we will summarize the discussion what we have discussed today. So let's start. So first of all, we have to know about the meaning of growth. So when, when we talk about growth and development, we usually are and we simultaneously use the term means we use the term growth and development in the same meaning or same sense but there are some differences so to know about the differences we have to know the basic concept of growth and development what is growth we all usually use this term growth and development in our day-to-day -day life suppose we are saying someone is growing he has this development that development but what actually it means we have to know it so uh, growth means increase in height weight length etc which can be measured means when a child is born as soon as time passes on he gradually gain what weight weight length all these things and this is this is this other aspect which can be measured we can measure the height and the weight of the child or of the baby and therefore and it can be observed we can particularly observe it through our eyes therefore it is growth and we have to also know that uh, the, the term growth basically refers to the changes in size because growth and development both deals with the term changes but growth deals with the changes that are in terms of size or in terms of some number length etc but development is something else which we will discuss in the next slide and one important thing is what growth is an important part of development so if something is to be developed growth must be there growth is a part of development okay so uh, as a student of or a learner of educational psychology we have to know the all the aspect or all the thing that are concerned with the human behavior because in the first unit you have learned that psychology is the study of behavior and in the in the study of behavior this all these thing all these changes comes now we will discuss about development what development is so as we have come to know that growth is concerned with the changes that are in terms of size and number now what is development development implies all those changes that takes place in our life throughout our life that that means it is it implies the changes in shape form structure resulting in improved working and functioning because of the changes that are brought by growth the people or the baby or the or the or the particular person is able to work it function it okay and therefore it is used in a very wider and comprehensive term it is an orderly progression towards maturity because if we have if we do if we want to have something or if we want to do something we need maturity and for this maturity development is essential because it is an orderly progression and another important aspect of development is what it is a continuous process growth at a particular time growth cease or growth stop suppose a child enters into the adolescence period or in the adulthood period his growth will change stop means uh, his uh, weight gain all will not grow again it will come to an end but development is not something like that it will continue through our life because therefore it is that there is a proverb that development goes from womb to tomb means it starts in the mother's home before birth the development continues and it continues to the time of date 
So it is a continuous process. There are lots of definition in the SLM or in the textbook that you will find. The definition I have quoted here is about uh, uh, is by Angel. He said that development cannot be considered in terms of the mind alone, but rather in terms of the individual as a whole in relationship with his experiences with others. Thus, development is considered with the biological total process taking place in the subject means it is uh, a process which takes place in consideration with the biological means what biological changes occurs take place in an individual in terms of that development takes place and it takes place throughout the life throughout the process of living in interaction with the other aspect of life Th then we have to know about the basic elements of development there are some elements so first one is growth as we have already discussed that growth is a part of development for development growth is essential so growth is the number one element basic element of growth development then maturation suppose if we have to if we want that the baby should gain suppose language development or language maturation so for this development his vocal cord should be measured then only he can attain language development in the course of time you will know all these things then experiences for development we need experiences the experiences we gain from our life from our day-to-day -day activities we gain lots of experiences and it adds to our development then social transmission because we all are social beings, therefore we have to make social interaction, we make social contact, and on the basis of that, we make social transmission. So, trans so transmitted, it is socially transmitted, and we gain experience, we gain maturation, and as a whole, we gain development. Okay, so these are the four important elements of development. Then, I have already mentioned one thing that the term growth, development and maturation. All these three terms are simultaneously used. Someone try to or someone make use of all these terms in the same sense. But there is a great differences. What are the differences? First one is growth takes place when child, bone, muscles and other body part increase in size. As already discussed. It implies about the changes in human being in terms of weight, height, body parts and other biological aspect of an individual. Then maturation. What is maturation? Maturation is the unfolding of the characteristics with which the individual is under. Means a child is uh, born with his physical or the body. Then as, as the time grows on, gradually he attains maturity. Suppose he is able to, you know, uh, speak, he is able to walk, he is able to hold something. So he is, he is get, gaining the maturation. And then as a result of this growth and development, he attained development. So development is a wide concept and it is the product of the earlier two concept, growth and maturation. So, for particular development, growth and maturation are essential. Okay, then we can make a comparison between growth and development. Yeah, already we have made the comparison between the earlier three concept: growth, development, now uh, and maturation. Now, particularly, we can uh, compare between growth and development because these two terms are basically interchangeably used. So. Growth is used in physical sense and I think these uh, differences or comparison will clear out your doubt regarding growth and development. So first thing is what growth is used in physical sense. It is totally used in physical aspect but development doesn't confine itself to the physical sense only. It includes all the forms or all the changes that take place in an human life. It may be a uh, social sense, it may be emotional sense, it may be moral sense, all kind of changes, all are included by development. 
okay then growth is a part of development so growth is only a part of development it is not the whole process development is the whole process and growth is only a part of it then growth doesn't continue throughout life i have already mentioned here that at a particular stage of life when suppose a child enters into the adult sense or the adulthood period his growth chase or his the growth the process of growth stop come to an end because after a particular time no person or no individual grows or his uh, head grows or all his organ grows at a particular time it comes to an end but it is not true with development because development is a continuous process and it through it go throughout the life of a human cycle because in the earlier slide i have shown the and the quoted the proverb it is a process which continues from om to ta okay then growth can be measured but development cannot be measured because we can see the growth of a child how he is growing in terms of head weight other physical organs but about development we cannot see we can just realize when when we make conversation in a social contact with a particular person or with a particular child we can see we can realize the development how he is talking the way of his talking the way of his conversation the way of his maintaining relationship all this reflect the development aspect of the particular person so we can see and therefore we can measure it yeah the same thing is in the next point growth is visible not the development as as because we can see growth we can measure it as we cannot see development we cannot measure it so these are the basic differences that we can make between growth and development and on the basis of this uh, the differences we can particularly uh, make the great make the find out the or derive the basic concept of growth and development and realize its importance in our life now uh, the another important topic that is a part of our discussion today is stages of human development because as a student of or as a learner of educational psychology we have to know that uh, how a child or how a person behave in different stages of his life and therefore we have to know we should know what are the stages of human development because it is not like that someone is born yesterday and he is a adult today not like that because development is a process is a scientific and it is a continuous as well as systematic process and therefore all the changes that takes place in an individual it takes place according to the stages of human life and therefore we have to know what are the stages so human development means the uh, continuous ch changes in human being that occur in people as they grow from conception until death we know we all know that the life of a person start at the time the it takes place in the mother's womb as a fetus so from the time of conception the life begins the development begins or the development starts and on and and it is a, as it is a continuous process it through it go through the lifetime until death and therefore as such it is uh, particularly classified into some stages so uh, this include all aspect of human development and this uh, changes that occurs in in this life cycle includes physical development emotional development intellectual social all the other thing that contribute towards a total personality development of a particular person human development uh, start from right from the conception in the mother's womb and continues till the die continue the person date so as accordingly it is classified into some stages first one is prenatal stage second one is infancy then childhood then adolescence and then adulthood and finally the oldest 
I will discuss in, in detail in the next slide. So uh, there are lots of psychologists who have given their opinion regarding the stages of human development. And as per their own philosophy, own psychological viewpoint or principles or theory, they have uh, classified the human development into different kind of uh, phases or stages. In your SLM2, you will find lots of classification like from like from Rousseau, like Freud. So there are lots of psychologists or eminent person who have classified their uh, the, the development process in their own perspective. But as a whole, on the basis of all the psychological uh, perspective, we have a basic or we have a general kind of classification and these are these are the classification first one is prenatal it means that it is the stage before the child is born therefore it is termed as prenatal the time is the duration is from conception to birth and one more important thing is that psychologists classified sub classified this particular period into three kind of sub period first one is period of ovum which is of two weeks from the time of conception to two weeks, it is called ovum. Then period of embryo, it is from the end of the two week to two month. Then period of fetus, the star, it start from two month, end of the two month to the time of birth. So the, all the process of development, growth and development, that is essential for a baby to be fully matured all take place within this nine long month and this nine long month include the this three particular sub classification all the important development takes place like development of the physical organs development of the uh, movement all these things happen all these things take place in the prenatal period and it prepare the child to ready for birth then we have the second important period that is infancy and babyhood period regarding all this uh, period you can you can know in better in detail in your later semester and later uh, units okay so uh, as in brief you should know about this that the first period is the prenatal period second one is the infancy or babyhood it, it is considered from the time of birth to two years. Then we have the childhood period. Childhood is again classified into two sub stages. First is the early childhood. Second one is the late childhood. And the early childhood uh, occupies the duration from two or three to six years. And late one is from six or seven to 12 years mean before the puberty. Then the most important period of human life is the adolescence and it starts from the onset of puberty to attainment of the maturity. Then and, and the, another important stage is the adulthood and it starts from the 20 years of attainment of maturity onwards. So these are the basic stages or the phases of human development. We have lots of other kind of subsection, but as a learner of educational psychology, you have to know that these are the basic general stratification of human development. So uh, we have come to the end of this discussion. And uh, as a summarization, we can say that in the discussion, we have discussed about the meaning of growth that is uh, that is deal with the terms uh, in terms of size, changes in size, then development, which implies the changes, overall changes of a human life that take place in his life throughout the life. Then uh, development has four basic elements, growth, maturation, experience, and social transformation. Then uh, there are basic differences between growth, development, and maturation. Growth is, um, measured but development we cannot measure and uh, as last we have discussed about the stages of human development that are of uh, basically prenatal stage infancy stage or babyhood stage 
childhood stage, adolescent stage and adulthood stage and later is old age. So I think you were clear about the first, uh, this first part of your unit number two from your educational psychology course. So thank you. We will meet again and discuss the later part of this unit in the next discussion. Thank you. Thank you.